Hi, this is Mark, and this is a 1967 Skidoo Olympic with the 250cc Rotax two-stroke motor, and we're going to wake it up in a little bit in the video here. And there was a galvanized windshield riser added to accommodate the extra seat height from the box where ice fishing supplies could be stored. Also, we get a look at the motor here. Looks pretty clean and in good shape. The intake I believe is a bit of a homemade intake. We'll see that later in the video. Okay, we've got a look at the mix ratios, the spark plug gap, chain tension, all the specs for the sled in English and French. Also, we've got the key with the ignition off, on, and the headlight or and tail light, the lights on position. The bogey wheel bearings had all been greased prior to the sled being stored away in a garage on a cement floor, but sitting up on two by fours to keep it off the floor. And here's a look at the track. It's date stamped 1976. So at some point, this track was changed out. And because it was sitting on two by fours on the cement floor, it preserved the track very well. I was able to remove the hood and get the headlight to pop up. There's a minor crack in the corner of the headlight opening. And this is what is found underneath the hood. A lot of uh, mouse house uh, remnants. As you can see, they got into a seed supply somewhere. and really made themselves at home. Now, this sled hasn't been run for about 20 plus years. So I took out the spark plug, checked for a spark, and it worked. So I put some fresh mix gas down the spark plug hole and had a friend of mine help me to uh, turn it over while I filmed. <laughs> All right, there you go. On the fourth pull, it uh, sputtered to life after 20-something years of sitting. So to take it even further, I removed the intake, which looks to be some kind of modified uh, hole saw intake that was homemade. This allowed me to spray some fresh mix fuel right directly into the carburetor. I wanted to prime it and get it to run to see if it would draw what gas was left in the tank from 20-something years ago up into the carburetor just so I would know if the carburetor valves are working correctly or if I'd need to take them apart and clean the whole carburetor out, maybe put in a new kit. So I repeatedly sprayed gas in the carburetor, pulled the rope to start it, and eventually this happened. That's the motor running on the 20-something-year-old gas that was still in the tank. There was about a gallon's worth in there, and it smelled old, but I've smelled worse. So, again, I just wanted to see if it would prime the gas up into the carburetor, and it actually ran on that gas. Pretty amazing. So now I'm anxious to get some snow on the ground and take this thing for a ride. Thanks for watching.